Hear that noise? I'm pumping. Hi everyone, I'm Whitney Britton and today I'm gonna be doing a video on how I manage a successful pump routine while working a full-time job. So the first thing I wanna say is that if you are deciding as you transition back to work to continue breastfeeding your baby and fitting in a routine to pump a couple of times during your work day, then kudos to you, mama. It is such a blessing to be able to continue my breastfeeding relationship with Emmett, but it isn't always easy. Breastfeeding is so wonderful, but pumping has its fair share of challenges. So uh, this is my second baby. For those of you who don't know me, I am a mom of two, and being through this experience once, it's definitely taught me some things that hopefully that I can share with you today that will help you as well as you navigate the hurdles of trying to maintain a healthy breastfeeding relationship and incurring the responsibility of pumping on the job. I want to preface everything I share with you with the fact that I am not a medical expert. These are just the tips and tricks that work for me personally. So if you ladies have any other suggestions or advice you would like to share, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I am always looking for new ways I can change up my routine to be the most effective and productive as possible on the job. Okay, so the first thing I do is try to create a pumping schedule that emulates my breastfeeding schedule with my son as close as possible. So my son is about 20 weeks old and he nurses every three hours roughly during the day. So I feed him first thing in the morning before I go to work and then build into my day knowing that I want to pump around 10.30 or 11 and again in the mid-afternoon before I go at that point to pick them up at daycare around 4.30 or 5 and then feed them in the evening. So that typically means I'm gonna be pumping two to three times during the workday. And if I'm creating my to-do list of things I wanna accomplish during the day, it really helps to know when I'm going to need to pump so that I can try to get things done that I know I won't be able to do while I'm taking my pumping breaks. Secondly, you want to make sure that you have a safe and private place to pump when you go back to work. So I always recommend to my friends who have kids and who are going to return to work to contact their employer if they don't know where that place is designated to, to be able to give them notice so that they can allocate a space for you to be able to pump. The other thing you wanna keep in mind is that you're going to need to pack your pump bag in advance, and I highly recommend putting it in the car the night before so you don't forget it. I've had the unfortunate events that have happened in the past where I've had I've already left for work, I've dropped my son off, and then I have no pump bag and no pump, so I'm scrambling and I'm behind schedule, so I have to run home and get it because I cannot survive the workday without pumping. Now you're also gonna to wanna to make sure you're wearing the right clothes to be able to pump while you're on the job. I have made the mistake before of wearing a dress that I could not pull down this way. So I'm literally working, trying to figure out how am I going to pump and make this work? And I'm in the car, I'm in sales. So mind you, most of the time I'm not in the office. And so I had to sit in a parking lot, hoping nobody would drive by and lift my dress all the way up over my head and basically pump in my bra and underwear. So make sure just like with breastfeeding, you have tops on or dresses that you can pull down or have easy access um, so that you're able to pump and not be embarrassed when somebody inevitably drives by or walks by and you know that you're covering yourself adequately. I've had a lot of friends who have mentioned in the past that their supply tends to dip when they go back to work because pumping is just not as effective as breastfeeding. And even if you have a good pump, it's still really hard to produce the same amount of milk that you would if your baby was feeding at the breast. So my best recommendation for uh, you to maintain your supply is to make sure you're eating foods that benefit your supply and you can just do Google searches of the best foods to eat while you're breastfeeding. But when you're actually pumping, make sure you're pumping long enough. I have friends who tell me like, yeah, I'm pumping and I'm not getting enough milk. And I'm like, well, how, how long are you pumping? And they're like, well, you know, 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm sitting here and it is going to take me probably 30 minutes to 35 minutes to produce the amount of milk that I would if I was nursing my child. So I am to get my seven to eight ounces that I need to be 
be able to feed him the bottle that he would take at daycare. It takes me that long. And as you know, when you are breastfeeding or pumping, you have letdowns. And in a 30 to 35 minute pump window, I'm having two to three letdowns versus if I was just pumping 10 to 15 minutes, I might only have one letdown. So make sure you're pumping long enough. That is going to be instrumental in maintaining your supply and making sure you're producing enough to feed your baby solely breast milk. Unfortunately, I have always struggled with getting plugged ducts, and so since a pump doesn't work as good for my body, I have to do a breast check at the end of pumping, which I'm doing right now, and if I feel like there were ductal systems that did not get properly drained, I lean over my bottle and I hand express. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm hand expressing into the bottle because I can see where if I didn't do this, I would get a plug duck because my pump did not work well enough to, to drain the entire breast. And this is after pumping for 30 to 35 minutes. So another recommendation I would have is to definitely do a breast check at the end of pumping so that you do not get plug ducts, which can lead to mastitis. And that is honestly, in my opinion, worse than labor. So just another little tip that hopefully will help you. Finally, I definitely recommend making sure you pack plenty of healthy snacks and bottles of water to keep yourself fueled with energy and hydrated while you're pumping during the workday. And if you're like me, you're probably not going to have a lot of time to sit down for a lunch break since that time is being allocated to pump. So that makes it even that much more important to make sure you have plenty of healthy go-to snacks in your pump bag. And I really appreciate you watching this video today. It brings me a lot of joy to share my breastfeeding journey with a fellowship of mamas. And if you enjoy watching content like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel at The Britain Chronicles because I will be producing a lot of videos revolving around the topic of breastfeeding. You can also follow me on Instagram at The Britain Chronicles. Thank you so much again, everyone, and have a great day.